Also, most important extensions are already ported for GNOME 45, which wasn't the easiest thing to do, especially for the big extensions. For example, the port of FlyPy extension, 27 commits, 63 files changed, with 9,500 deletions and 3,000 additions. Isn't that motherfucking insane, or what? Anywho, if you're gonna use the Tiling Assistant extension, till GNOME implements a native tiling, which will probably happen, um, about never, I want to share with you a small tip from the extension settings. After you set your key bindings for the top and bottom, which aren't there by default, go back to the general view, and on dynamic key binding behavior activate the tiling state. Next, we'll open a few windows to try it, and that theme is made with the Gradients app, then I will definitely upload something about it, when they have a release with GNOME 45 support ready. Okay, now, let's push files on the right side, and fill the empty space with the terminal, and then with the tiling state enabled, you can push terminal one more time down, to update its position according to its previous state. So, you got what this option does? It enables a second tiling on an already tiled window for repositioning it, which it should have been the default behavior anyway. Meanwhile, don't you hate these by the way I use Arch guys in 2023? You delusional unemployed pricks, do you realize that Arch Linux installation is virtually three keystrokes away? So, you either run GNOME beta releases on Slack, like this champ, or you just shut the fuck up and thank you for watching.